peace and blessings from a Christ lifestyle. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Not sure what time zone you in, but thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another edition of 60 Seconds of Wisdom from a Christ lifestyle. We call it 60 Seconds of Wisdom, although sometimes, you know, it goes longer than 60 seconds. So all praise be to the Most High God, His Son Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Um, so, today, wisdom is about... You know, the post that we shared this morning, the scripture of the day, which was Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 through 2. The key scripture was verse 2, bear ye one another's burdens and fulfill the law of Christ. Okay, so I just want to just talk about that, you know, bearing each other's burdens. You know, what does that mean? What does that look like? You know, as we see that Christ... You know, some people call him Jesus. Some people call him Yeshua, Yahweh Shai, uh, Yeshai, Yeshai. Um, you know, the Christ. But, you know, for believers and followers of Christ, you know, he did bear our burdens. You know, you know, he was sent down off the, off the right hand of the Heavenly Father to come in the flesh uh, to be that ultimate sacrifice, bearing our burdens, you know. He was talked about, ridiculed, mocked, spit on, and ultimately paid the price of, you know, bearing the ultimate burden of giving one's life for the next person. So he gave his life for us, you know. He bore that burden, you know. So I basically want to talk about what can we do as a people to bear each other's burdens, um, you know that what, what does that look like you know so i'm going to ask you know at the end of this video comment whether you're watching on youtube whether you're watching on facebook whether you're watching on igtv comment how can we bear each other's burdens you know share some scriptures make sure you comment you know how do we bear each other's burdens what does that look like what scriptures can we use you know so you know but um to me to us that looks like you know giving food to the needy, uh, seeing someone blind and walking them across the street or, you know, asking them do they need help. Um, you know, reaching out to people, give, you know, reaching out to people, just checking them, seeing, seeing how they're doing. You know, that's how, how we bear each other's burdens. Um, sometimes we can't do it financially. We all can't do it financially. But sometimes it's just being that ear for someone to vent to and able to give them wise counsel. And, 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 and feel their pain, you know? There's different ways to bear each other's burdens, you know? And what we've done here at the Christ Lifestyle, you know, when we started our business, one way we thought how can we bear, bear people's burdens was give to the needy, give to the needy. So if you go to our About Us page at achristlifestyle.com, you'll see that 10% of all proceeds that we make, we give to the less fortunate, we give to the needy, you know, in our community, you know, and now we're in New Jersey. And so we, uh, you know, different ways we do that. We go out and fix food, uh, care packages, and we, we take them to the people that's sleeping in Penn Station, that's on, the, that's on the corners in Newark or Elizabeth, New Jersey, and sleeping on the bridges. And we, you know, we give them, fix them some soup or whatever, whatever need be, and drop it off personally. That's what we do. We don't put it in no other company's hand, no one else's hand. We put it right in their hand, take it to them to bear their burdens and give to them, you know, clothes and different things like this. And this is not to gloat or anything like that. We're not gloating, not boasting or anything like that, but just giving an example of how, you know, we, a Christ lifestyle, bear the burdens of, you know, bear the burdens of our people. You know, and Christ said, in Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 through 40, I'm going to read real quick. It says, uh, verse 36, he says, Naked and ye clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and ye came unto me. Now we're going to drop down to verse 40. And the king shall answer and say to them, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye have done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you have done it to me. So with that being said, like when we out here, when you helping people and you're bearing the next person's burden, helping them out, 
you know, you're, you're, you're doing it as if you've done it to Christ. You're doing it for Christ, you know? And sometimes it may be sacrificing, you know, you may have $50 and someone need 10. You may have to sacrifice 10 or you may have to sacrifice five, but just ask them, you know, what can you do, 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 do for them to help them out? You get what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, like we say, fi finances can only go but so far. So someone can need $100, you can give them $100, next week they need $200. Now they're taking advantage. You know, now they're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? So it may be someone needs $100. Well, what do you need $100 for? You need groceries? Okay, well, you know what? We can give you some groceries. We can go buy you some groceries to take you shopping to get some groceries. You know? So there's different ways of bearing each other's burdens, you know? So I'm not sure if everyone knows, but on September 4th, you know, I lost my cousin, my brother, Andrew Mann Johnson. He was killed to gun violence in Chester, South Carolina. Uh, this is a brother that worked two jobs, looking for a third job, have, uh, have five children, took care of his children, was in his children's life and everything like that. And he was, he was killed, you know? He was killed actually on his way home uh, from work. You know, so when that happened, of course, saddened, heartfelt you know it was a big hurt and i thought to myself um how can i help what can a christ lifestyle do to help and you know different things came to me and i was like you know we can give money but money's only going to be for so long and we don't have a lot of money you know so what can we do to help so the holy spirit all praise be to the most high god and his son christ you know, came to me with the thought of start a nonprofit. So we've done here at the Christ Lifestyle, we've started a nonprofit organization called Andrew Mann Johnson Foundation, Drew's Kids, to help, you know, assist children that have lost a parent to gun violence, to help them out. You know, uh, parents that have uh, parents that 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 children have lost another parent to gun violence. That's what the Andrew Mann Johnson Foundation, uh, Drew's Kids, is about. Now, we just started it, you know, um, and the goal is to, to, to help these families with, you know, financial assistance, uh, counseling, because these children are going to need counseling. It is not just for, 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 for my cousin, my brother's children. It's for all children in our communities that's affected by losing a parent to gun violence, okay? So with that being said, we need help. We started it, but we need help. If you have experience in, uh, you know, running a nonprofit or want to help with a nonprofit, you know, send us an email at a Christ Lifestyle at gmail.com. That's a Christ Lifestyle at gmail.com. Send us, send us an email. You know, see if you can, you know, get uh, link up with us and get down with the team and help build this nonprofit organization. That's going to go straight to the people that need it in our communities, you know, those children, you know, uh, that, that single parent now that's raising their, their, their child or children because the, the spouse was taken out, you know, due to gun violence. Again, that's the Andrew Mann Johnson Foundation, Drew's Kids, if you'd like to be a part of it to help out and bear the burdens of these children, bear the burdens of these single parents, uh, reach out to us at ChristLifestyle at gmail.com, you know? You know, so if you like to reach out to us, help out. Also, comment below. How can we bear each other's burdens? Give examples of how we can bear each other's burdens. You know, put that in the comment below. Share some, share some scriptures, you know. And like I said before, we had a Christ lifestyle. We donate 10 percent of, of, of what we make uh, to the to the needy people in our community. So go shop at ChristLifestyle.com. Help out, you know, and it's not going to big business is not going to these places you don't know you you know we're, we're taking it right to the people in our communities right to the people in our communities newark new jersey uh elizabeth new jersey irvington new jersey we're taking it there you know so you know definitely go shop a christ lifestyle to help out also um what else can i say bear ye, bear ye another's burdens christlifestyle.com drew's kids uh, you know, reach out to us, help out. I'm just looking at a paper. I made some little notes for what y'all talk about. Also, 
You know, if you haven't seen so, a modest runway fashion exhibit highlights are on our YouTube page. They're also on our Facebook and Instagram page. So you can go to YouTube, type in a Christ, a Christ lifestyle. You'll see the Amonish Runway Fashion Exhibit 2019 highlights. No other fashion show like it. The first to do it came out right. All praise be to the Most High God and His Son Christ for allowing us to put it together and allow it to be a success. You know, we did it in uh, August of this year. And guess what? Amonish Runway Fashion Exhibit 2020 is already in the works. AMR 2020. So if you're a designer, you know, if you're a designer, vendor, you want to get down with it and showcase some modest fashion, send us an email, a Christ Lifestyle at gmail.com. Go to our website, a Christ Lifestyle.com, and subscribe so you can get down with, you know, get the updates on what we got going on. You'd be the first to know. Um, you know, get down with it. AMR 2020 coming soon. Go check those highlights from Modest Rowing Fashion Exhibit 2019. Came out right. All praise be to the most high power. Never seen a fashion show like that before. And you never see it like this before. You know, all praise be to the most high God. With that being said, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you're watching this on, but whatever you're watching this on, whether it's IG, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we're Christ Lifestyle all the way. So go subscribe to all our pages. Peace and blessings from a Christ Lifestyle. Uh, comment below. How can we bear each other's burdens? Peace. Bless you. Have a good day. Bear you one another's burdens. So fulfill the law of Christ. I'm out. 60 seconds of wisdom. Shalom.